Hey there friends and welcome back to the channel for more Prodrick Zomboid content. The Indie Stone have just released their first Thursdoid of 2023, titled Walk in the Woods. If you find this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe to the channel for even more Project Zomboid content. So in this Thursdoid, the Indie Stone have given us an overview as to what is currently being worked on in Build 42. Build 42, at its very core, is going to be made up of four chunks that will all come together. We have the crafting and animal update, map expansion, the optimization, lighting, basements, engine upgrade, and a change in multiplayer, making the inventory interactions work on server side as opposed to client side, which is going to make things a lot smoother. The Indie Stone have said that these four chunks are all at different stages. For example, the animals are further ahead than a lot of the elements of crafting in terms of being ready to actively test and play with. Right now with the crafting, the work taking place is on the back end code side of crafting stations and component UIs. Meanwhile, with the engine upgrade at this point, we are essentially fixing up various different rendering issues that were broken without quite fundamental changes to the system up to a point at which it's ready to be merged into the test build. The map team meanwhile continue to pump out new towns, interesting locations and fun places to travel and hold out in. Not only are Indie Stone working on these four massive massive chunks for build 42, they are also working on revamp fishing, better farming, more imaginative and fun items to find and use, even better events to come across, improved recipes, new animations and activities, improved music system and deeper sound space and general piles of polish and improvement throughout. The Indie Stone then go on to say that they have borrowed Steve N from Ever Curious Entertainment to work on the animation system and they've been working on some long standing issues. If they do end up fixing these issues, they have said it's going to result in a lot more silky smooth turns and a lot more 180 degree turns as well. In this latest Thursdoid, Indie Stone have just released a video of rats in Project Zomboid. That's right, you heard it right. We have rats coming to Project Zomboid and they look pretty damn cool and they will give the game a little bit more life and colour to your surroundings. Pun is totally not intended. They do state that you will not be able to interact with them though and they will run away before you get close to them. But still, it's a pretty cool change. Now, going back to the fishing changes, the Indie Stone are making some huge, huge changes as to how this works, as you can see from this video. This is fishing in its current iteration, which is shortly going to be mixed into the internal test build. They have said that the strain animations will need some more tweaking, as well as the indications that a big fish is being caught, but they are very happy with the direction that this is heading in. The Indie Stone then go on to say they have added some new items, and I quote, about a bazillion new items. Some useful and some more aimed at making the world feel fuller and more real are also currently going into the internal test build. And by the looks of it, we're also going to need a hose for gas siphoning as well. So what does everyone think of all these updates coming to build 42? Leave a comment down below of what you're most looking forward to. Personally, I'm very impressed with all of the changes that they have coming. And I'm really excited to see some new POIs and towns on the map. But that's it for this first oid though. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next one.